know it's a very difficult time for you right now, but I promise you when you get through this as quickly as we can, okay? Okay. Okay, and I'll just say your name for me, please. Hello, Lucy. Okay. And how long have you been married to your husband for? Oh, for 13 years. I'm so sorry this is happening to you, but I'm hoping what we're doing here will offer you some kind of closure. We've been living there for seven. Where? The house. Yeah, of course. So what happened to the house? So, I was sitting with John in the living room together. Um, we heard someone come through the front door. So we went to the foyer and, and we saw James there. Uh, just give me your name, please. Um, <coughs> um, James Wolsey. And how are you spelling Wolsey? Um, w O O L S E Y. Okay. And how long have you lived with your brother for? Oh, um, I'd, I'd probably say about six months. But I am planning on moving out soon. Good. Now, what were you doing last night? I mean, I, I was upstairs one night, um, asleep. And what time is this? Um, like I said, uh, no, no, tw 12, past 12. And what were you doing before 12? Um, I mean, I was in the pub. And which pub is this? Uh, the, the, the Queen's Head, the one uh, down at uh, Richway. Okay, so you're up the pub. <coughs> what time did you leave the pub? Um, again, uh, 12 past 12. You're sure? Yeah. Anything more exact? I mean, if you want a more accurate, specific time, yes. Uh, then you'd probably, I'd probably have to say about 12.30. And you're sure? Yeah. And did you hear what was going on downstairs? No. So you didn't hear what was going on downstairs at all? So you, your brother was murdered downstairs and you didn't go downstairs? No, I, I, I didn't, no. When did you wake up? When I, when I had the screaming. Whose? Um, El, uh, sorry, uh, his, his missus. How did he attack? He attacked him with a knife. And then, and then he attacked me. signs of bruising on the body? Oh, um, not to the face. Um, on the chest. I, I hit him on the chest. And that was enough to make him stop? Oh, yes. He was breaking down and, and crying. And this was after he attacked you and your husband? Yes. And how long had he been living with you? For six months. My husband insisted that he could stay with us for all that time, but it's far too long, if you ask me. So to sum up, you were at the pub, you left the pub around 12.30, and got home, went to sleep, drunk, passed out, I might add, and you didn't hear your brother cry out or scream or anything? No. Well, according to what I have here, and as coroner reports, your brother didn't die when you were asleep. Because according to this, as well as this, he died at exactly 12.19am, so... Yeah, where were you? I was at home. And where do you live? Just next door to him. 
And did a loud scream wake you? No, I'd already been struggling to sleep. But you did hear the screaming, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, uh, heard some other things before, though. Oh? Yeah, it would have been, oh, about midnight. Oh, I'm afraid I'm going to need you to be specific. 11.59. Okay. Yeah, oh, I'd, uh, I'd heard a noise outside, so I got out of bed and I just looked around the curtain and the neighbour was there scrambling around and he was making some sort of noise. He was humming or mumbling or something. And just short of time? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, according to what I see here, the coroners say that your husband expired at 12.19am. You went to bed at 12.30 in the morning. Yeah. But according to what I am looking at here, and the coroner's reports, your brother did not die when you were asleep, and the reports I have here say that his death was pronounced at 12.19 a.m., but you stated you went to bed at 12.30 a.m. Well, you know, then I must have gone before. But you assured me it was 12.30. No, 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 no. I said I thought I was, but you need to remember that. I, I was drunk. I, there was a, Look, it definitely happened before. What happened before? Well, they killed my brother. Who's they? I don't know. If I knew, I would have told you. But I don't. Oh, if you didn't hear them scream or cry or wail or anything like that, and you cannot sit there and tell me with 100% definitive certainty that it was murder. What if it was suicide? No, no, that's wrong. He would never do that. So if you're so sure he was killed, who killed him? Look, I don't know. If I knew, I'd tell you. Because I don't, I can't, so I won't, okay? I, I don't know. Just, it's just, you were in the house when it happened. It's, it, you were too out of it to hear your brother struggle, but not so much that you can hear his wife screaming. This does not make sense. But it's true. Just please focus. Now look, you were at the pub, you left the pub, you came home, you went upstairs to bed, you were drunk, your brother was downstairs. Yes? Yeah. Now, just imagine for a moment that, yeah, just imagine that you hear the struggle, you hear the scream, you wake up hearing the scream, you go downstairs, it's 12.19 a.m. Your brother is dead already. What are you looking at in front of you? What am I looking at? Yes. Uh, okay, um... Speak! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, I, I'm looking at Ella, right? And then um, there's, there's a, sm a, a smashed door there, and, and there's blood. She's bleeding. She? E Ella. Ella is bleeding. Why is she bleeding? I mean, think about it for a second. Maybe she got attacked just like the others. I don't know. However, James has reported coming home at 12.30 a.m. But a neighbour also reported that he came back no later than 11.59 p.m. But he's wrong. According to what I'm seeing here, he was home way sooner than your husband died or could have been attacked. So... Why do I need his prints on the knife? James killed him. But he had no marks on him to be checked. It wouldn't be hard to struggle with a drunk man if you can fend him off. So why are you bruised and not him? Listen, I was sitting in the living room with John together, okay? And then we heard someone come through the front door. We didn't find any of his prints on the knife, but we could find your late husband and yours. He attacked me! I had to take the knife out of him! Okay? That's why my prints are on there. He has no prints on the knife! How could he have killed John with the knife and never touched the knife in the first place? Now just think for a moment. What if it was just you and him? I didn't kill him! I never accused you of killing him. You were thinking it! You just said that he... What if it was just me and him? You said there was anybody else there.
Mrs. Walmsley, under the circumstances, I know I said this wouldn't take very long, but if there's something you need to say, then we'll let this take as long as it takes. <laughs> I can't. Just think. If you were alone, if you and him were all alone, then why are you bruised and not him? How could he have killed you if he wasn't even home? I had to do it, okay? He would have killed me, all right? But then, after it happened, I had no idea what to do. So, so I thought I could blame him to get out of it. And why did you blame him? And why did John try to kill you?